everyone welcome back to my channel it's Pina Claudia I have a Zoev haul today that I'm going to be showing you all now before I get into it please like comment and subscribe it really helps my channel out so Zoev acrylic comes in these opaque containers to where you cannot see the color of the acrylic in which it is inside so I went and bought these, uh, it's a 24 pack of clear acrylic jars so I can transfer each one to the jar. And for me, I'm a visual person, it just really helps to be able to see each color as I am picking it or my clients picking it. This color is hydrangea. I'm just basically taking the lid off, placing the acrylic powder inside of the clear jar. By the way, the clear jars, I will have them linked in the description box below as far as where I've gotten the clear jars at. Um, I found it easier to take off the sticker, put the lid on, and then place the sticker on the back. That way I can always reorder from Zoev as soon as if I'm running out. So it really makes a big difference for me at least. And I hope it does and I hope it's helpful for you all as well. Getting right into the first swatch is Hydrangea. I am using Young Nails Monomer um, for these swatches. Now I am realizing as I'm placing these beads on the swatch stick that it is a drier system. Uh, you're going to see me struggle a little bit with working with Zoev, but ultimately um, I get the hang of it uh, near the end. Of course, practice makes perfect. Uh, this next color is super pretty. It's a lavender. That's the name of it. And uh, you'll see that I'm just placing the bead down. And as long as you're working with it more on the wet side, it's going to pull really nicely and uh, lay smooth as well. The next thing I'm going to do is show you guys once more me just transferring the acrylic powder from one jar to the more visible clear acrylic jar. I just remove the sticker on the back and rub that in for shocking orange. And it's pretty easy. I didn't really make too much of a mess. They transferred really nicely. And overall, I would 100% recommend to transfer them if you're a visual person like myself. To be able to see these swatches so again this is a dryer system and i was not aware of that going in so this is where i'm struggling i'm seeing that i need more monomer more liquid on my brush and once i start to pat it with a little bit more liquid on my brush it smooths out really nicely but you definitely do need to add more liquid to your brush so I'm still learning that in this next swatch for Strawberry Shortcake. That's the name of this acrylic powder. Uh, it's a really pretty neon pink color. It's going to be really nice for the summer nail sets. And uh, once you see me add more liquid to my brush, you'll see that the consistency turns out much more smooth. And that's what we all want. The color of this next acrylic is called The Real Teal and as you can see with a wetter bead it does lay on so much nicer, so much more smooth and uh, it's definitely that kind of Tiffany blue color, uh, maybe a little bit deeper, a little bit darker but still super pretty. The next one is Interview and this one you're going to see me swatch. Uh, chocolate raspberry in the end and it is similar to it this uh, color acrylic interview is a little bit darker so you're going to see that again once I review the color near the end but here is interview this next color is prettiest periwinkle and I forgot to mention that I'm using my King's Nail Shop acrylic brush in the size 12 pinched um, I am enjoying this brush. It was really, really nice to swatch with, and I've also done a set um, as well with the same brush. And again, prettiest periwinkle. This next color is really vibrant. It's called Violet. I would say it is close to the 
I believe it's Mambasita with Not Polish, so it's along that same look um, from the two. This next color is called Yes Please from Zoev, and it's definitely on the more pale nude side. Uh, it has a light pink color to it, but it's definitely a very pale nude color that you could use in the reverse French, possibly. This next color is called Royalty. It's definitely a bluish purple color. You're going to see it next to Violet at the end of the swatch, which will show that this one and Violet are really close in comparison. So if one or the other is out of stock, my advice would be pretty much either color is going to work because of how close in color these are. Um, I would say Violet is a tinge more purple but they're so close, you almost can't tell. This next color is called After Hours. I am gonna place the bead and then um, clean off my brush, wet it once more, and then work with the bead. I found that that was the best method when working with the Zoev acrylic. Again, place the bead and then work with it. You'll see me compare these colors to Violet as well as Royalty. Um, after Hours, you can tell, is a much more deep purple color, and I just wanted to make sure I got them all together so you could see the differences and also the similarities. And we are to the next color, Lace. This is a really pretty, almost kind of a cotton candy pink color on the lighter side of course again I placed the bead I cleaned off my brush got it wet and now I am working with it to uh, pull it in place and that is the best method that I found to work with Zoev uh, again this is a really pretty really pretty color This next color is called Honey Melon, and what I notice after turning the swatch stick over is that right where I place the bead, it's a little bit more pigmented on the swatch stick. Um, you shouldn't be able to tell a difference when you're actually applying the acrylic yourself, as you won't be seeing underneath the nail, but when I flip the swatch stick over, you are going to see a little bit of a difference there. Um, it is still super pretty, and I think that the name really does suit it. This next color is called Military. It's definitely an olive green type color. You'll see me place the bead, go back, wet my brush, and then begin working with it because, like I'd mentioned, it's definitely the way to work with Zoev's acrylic. Uh, it is really nice, so I, I did hear some reviews not so good, um, and I think that if they use that method, placing it, having it more wet, it will work for them better. This color is Yellow Macaroon. It's definitely a pastel yellow color, and again, as you see, I'm placing the bead down, cleaning off my brush, wetting it, and then beginning to work with it. Um, you'll see throughout the video that that is truly the best method, uh, especially with the struggles you've seen earlier with uh, how it was spreading before and then after, once working with it on the wetter side. This next color is called Nude Pearl. It's definitely on the more sheer side and it's a very, very light pink. I seen how sheer it was when I first laid it down and I just immediately knew I would need a second bead to try to get the color across the swatch stick. So um, it does cover and it is somewhat opaque, but not entirely. It definitely is a more sheer uh, pink. This next color is called Candy Apple. It is a really bright red color. 
I would say that the red is definitely having orange undertones, but red nonetheless. I can see this color being super pretty for a summer set or even uh, working towards a Halloween set. And you'll see I pop a little bubble there because I want a nice smooth swatch stick, but overall it laid really nice and it's such a pretty color. This is called Soft Nude. It is definitely on the more yellow side of the nudes. Does not have any sort of pink undertone to it. Definitely on the yellow undertone. This color would go really well with the trend of the gradient nails from the light nude to a more deeper brown nude. And I think that this is going to be a perfect color for me to be able to create that look and so I'm really excited for that. Now this color I had saved in my cart from Zoev about a year ago. It's called Raspberry Chocolate. It is part red, part brown, and everything beautiful. I would probably do a full set of this color. I'm lying, I'll probably add glitter. I love glitter, so that would be the look that I would do. Um, you're going to see me compare Raspberry Chocolate to Interview. They are similar, although Interview does have a more cherry or a red undertone, while Raspberry Chocolate definitely has that chocolatey, more brown undertone as well. Seriously, here is definitely a mauve color. It is wonderfully made and of course, as long as you're working with it wet, it is going to be super smooth. This next color is called Strictly. You're gonna see that it, it looks different compared to other colors. It right here looks to be kind of like a muted uh, mint color. Um, there's a little bit of gray in there, a little bit of green, but when I place it next to other colors, it really stands out and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Here is Strictly next to Honey Melon, and you'll see the difference there as well. Here is Strictly next to Military, you'll see those differences. And lastly, Hydrangea with Strictly. I just wanted to give you guys a comparison of them. The next one is called Tangerine Dream. It is a very bright color. It's even more so on kind of like a neon coral side. So if that's the color that you're looking for, for a summer set, this is the one you need. You'll see me poking out some of the air bubbles that were caused when laying the acrylic, but otherwise this color is super beautiful, definitely ready for some beach vibes. This next color is called Pumpkin Pie. And I think it's gonna go really well for Thanksgiving or even just a fall set of acrylic nails. You could pair it with a nice brown color, add some leaves. We're back to basics. <laughs> And so we've made it to our last swatch. Well, this one is called Clout. It's definitely a neon bubblegum pink type color, and I think it would go really well with those neon summer sets. So here are all of our Zoev acrylic powders. I just wanted to show you the original container again in case you wanted to see that. I 
really do like the look better in the clear acrylic jars. That way I can see them as I'm looking at them on my casing. If you like this look as well, I'm going to have all of the items that I use in the description box below. So that way you can click on the link and go right to Amazon where I purchased them. Uh, or at least know the dimensions as to what was used for this purchase. And what you're going to see next is my casings where I keep all of my acrylics. I have lots of not polish and these are where my Zoev acrylics are being placed on that rack. I want to thank you guys so much for sticking to the end here and watching this acrylic haul review. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much again and have a wonderful day.